if we can please come and welcome our first testimony. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Michelle Burt and I'm from Pasco, Washington. Michelle, can you please tell us your testimony and what brought you here today? Um, well, I was pregnant uh, four months ago. <laughs> I recently had a, a baby, but I hurt my hip very severely. Um, I groomed dogs and I lifted a big dog and I heard a big pop and I had a lot of pain after that. It was um, very hard for me to walk, um, lift my leg, bend over. Um, I was just in a lot of severe pain. Where did you go on for solution for your back problems or in your pain? I just really spoke to my gynecologist about it mostly. Um, he just said it was something I had to, to deal with um, and be in pain because there's no really options during pregnancy because uh, there could be complications. So. Um, with this this hip pain uh how i received healing was um i was supposed to go out of town um this weekend i was supposed to go camping with my family but uh, i knew god had kept me um, in town for a reason and i just had that feeling um i had to stay in town uh to sing at my church and so after that um, me and my friends went to go to roasters and have some coffee and i was looking through my newsfeed on facebook social media. <laughs> and um, I noticed Haley, Haley Taylor is my cousin, and she was on my newsfeed. I noticed you guys had an event going on at Howard Amon Park. So I went, and you guys had great worship, and it was awesome, and I stayed. Um, then a man approached the stage, and he just talked about how he ran into this man at the store. Um, he was having a lot of severe back pain. Um, that man received healing that day, um, and so that really spoke to me. And what was crazy is the man that went on the stage had a um, piece of paper of people that had um, pain and illnesses that day well mine was on there um, so shortly after everything uh, ended I went to go speak with him and I was healed that day of my hip pain God is so amazing you know he just works in such amazing ways um, I really wanted to go camping that weekend with my family, but he kept me there because I was supposed to go through that experience because not only was I healed that day, but my faith grew immensely. I saw a lady's leg grow in front of my eyes. So after I saw that, um, the man that healed me had me uh, lay my hands on one of my friend's mothers, and she was healed through the blood of Jesus. And so now that you've received your healing, you said you had many complications. Is there something that you couldn't do then that you can do now? And can you show us? Yeah, um, walking hurt really bad, but I was not able to lift my leg outwards at all. It was very painful, extreme pain. So the fact that I can do that, I can run, I can exercise. So thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now for anybody that may be watching or here in this place right now who is struggling through a sickness, some pain in their bodies, um, do you have a word of advice? What would you suggest or share with them? Believe you receive. Through the blood of Jesus, all things are possible. You already have that healing. Take it. Just believe it. Thank you. Thank you.